Well, from Pinellas County to Manatee County, 10 News reporter Grady Trimble has been keeping his eye on the storm in the southern portions of the Tampa Bay area. He's been out there all morning. Right now, Grady joins us from Holmes Beach in Manatee County. How's it going, Grady? Hey, Liz, it's pretty good out here, actually. A lot has changed since we talked last around two hours ago. Two main changes. The first is that it was raining before. Now it hasn't rained for about two hours. And the other thing is we've noticed that the water has gotten quite a bit choppier in the last couple of hours, but still a similar scene like Emerald was describing out there. There are people walking, enjoying a Memorial Day weekend on the beach because it's not raining, the wind's not too strong, and really right now they don't have anything to worry about. I want to swing around here because the homes on uh, Holmes Beach and the Anna Maria Island area, they're notorious for flooding in storms like this. They had some flooding during Irma last year and um, some previous storms before that. Right now, obviously, that's not a concern for the people in these neighborhoods. But Manatee County declared a state of, an, uh, of emergency yesterday, um, or two days ago rather, and people were getting sandbags in certain neighborhoods, the areas that are prone to flooding. But so far, we haven't seen or heard any reports of anything major in this area as it pertains to flooding and homes. So, so far pretty smooth along the beach and actually there's a big group of people walking that way. You can see out here taking it in because there are still bands moving through the area. So uh, people are trying to get some exercise in before the, uh, the rain comes again. So for now we're live on Anna Maria Island. We'll send it back to you.